Hello everyone, uh, in this video we'll talk about uh, DevHub, uh, which will be our uh, sample application, sample project on Django framework. Uh, so we'll use Python and Django uh, for backend. Uh, and in this video I will give some uh, information about this project. I will explain tools that we will use. And also we already have a base code or base source code for this project. I will share some information on this source code. Uh, so let's, uh, for now, let's just start. Uh, first of all, as I said, uh, this project is a sample project. Uh, and for backend, we'll use Python and Django. For frontend, we'll use uh, React. And as a next step, uh, when we already will have uh, React as a website, uh, we can also check React Native uh, and maybe even Expo because yeah, we have a tutorial for Expo. It's quite easy to use, so we will probably use these technologies for our mobile clients. But for now, our goal is to have um, a backend or initial version of the system using uh, Python and Django. And also for the web frontend, we will use React. Uh, in terms of toolings, uh, or yes, yeah, just tools, uh, we will uh, for sure we will use uh, Docker for our test environment, and also I will try to set up a deployment process using Docker uh, and try try with CI. Uh, so and also show how we can deploy Django and Python application uh, to uh, to web server uh, yeah, using automation tools. And part of this process is also uh, testing. So we'll have automatic testing. We will have testing strategy, uh, like unit test or integration or end-to-end -end test, and also automatic uh, deployment. And for example, uh, it also will uh, consist uh, items like linting. So we will check our code base, uh, which probably will be Python and JavaScript. So we at least will have two uh, languages and we will have steps or automatic tests automatic checks for uh, code conventions and etc. That will be also a part of our process. Uh, but in general, uh, when I say DevHub, uh, it is a, a Django application and uh, uh, it will have uh, it will has, uh, 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 parts like admin uh, website where you can approve members, uh, do some moderation. Uh, we will have profile so users can register and upload, for example, um, image or uh, profile images, and you will have some kind of board uh, like Facebook feeds or something, something like this, uh, where a user can put, uh, post uh, some updates, some posts, uh, and uh, other users also can see this post. Um, for now, as a version uh, one, uh, we will have some uh, basic functionality. So our main goal is to develop all this functionality, all, all these features. And later, uh, probably we'll have some additional stuff. Uh, yeah, for example, uh, show online users or you can join some kind of online groups and have a discussion, uh, discussions. And also we can have some kind of um, automatic tools like uh, when we have new posts, it is automatically posted to Telegram or any other uh, messaging app. So we can play with this dev app dev hub uh, and add some uh, features and uh, more importantly we can check how we can implement these features um, yeah as i said uh, we already have a um, source code for this project uh, it for now it it contains only few basic configuration i will show in a minute uh, but for now yeah you can uh, check this repository i will put link in description uh, if you like the idea please uh, add a star so yeah we will see how popular we can get with this uh, idea, with this project. Um, and code base, uh, yeah, I will use Visual Studio code to show the, uh, the source code. So for now, it is a, a quite simple uh, Django application. Uh, in our previous tutorials, we already have a uh, few Django related uh, tutorials where you can see how you can set up a, sim a similar um, a structure for, for your project. Uh, but for now, uh, shortly, uh, within our uh, root folder, uh, we have docs uh, where we will keep all our documentations. Uh, then we have SRC folder where we will keep our source code. 
uh, then we have uh, one uh, Django application, Django app, which is account. Uh, I did some customization for this account, but uh, later I will um, show and this, uh, yeah, explain it a, a bit in details. But for now we have uh, one uh, additional Django application, which is account, where we will keep all our user registration and user modifications. And also we have a main folder or root folder for our Django project which contains uh, our settings file, uh, URL uh, configuration file, and WSJ. All these uh, files, they are, they are uh, default Django, uh, created by uh, Django. Uh, and then we have ManagePy. Uh, if you don't understand and don't uh, have any information about Django, uh, please check this link, uh, Django uh, project. Uh, and they have tutorial that you can follow. Uh, it is six step. Uh, if I'm not wrong, yeah, it is six step tutorial. So take the tutorial. Uh, I will put link to this uh, tutorial as well, so you can check. Uh, uh, yeah, at least you will need at least first four or five uh, steps in this tutorial to uh, to understand all uh, all logic behind our uh, Dev Hub project. Uh, but uh, in our next tutorials, in our next videos, I will give more technical information also. Uh, but, but for now, yeah, we have uh, uh, one account application, uh, root configuration for our Django application, and also empty tests folder where we will keep all our uh, integration and end-to-end -end tests. And then, yeah, default files like gtignore, license, readme, and requirements. So in our requirements, we already have some uh, basic requirement uh, uh, required packages. Uh, I will put a link to another our Django tutorial where you can see how you can install all these uh, requirements and etc. Um, and now let's continue with our um, yeah, application. As I said, for account, I already did some customization, and that's about uh, our uh, user model. Uh, because in Django, when you uh, just create your uh, project, you get default uh, user model, and uh, you have only, yeah, if I am not wrong, let's just double check, uh, but in uh, default Django, you have uh, as a required field, on, field only, uh, like it was username or, uh, or email, so I will just double check required uh, fields, yeah, it's only email. Uh, but in our case, I also want to keep uh, our username also required. So you need, uh, to register in our system, you will need both uh, username and email. So uh, that's our customization of uh, default uh, user model or user registration model of Django. And for this, to customize uh, Django's default user system, uh, you need to uh, import this. Uh, so first of all, you need to have uh, models.py uh, then uh, you need to import this package uh, this class uh, then initialize or add your new class uh, uh, which will be derived from abstract user and then override this field because uh, in uh, in base model you can see that required fields contains only one uh, item uh, but in our case it will contain also uh, contains on the also username as so both username and email and also in your settings file you need to have uh, this uh, configuration the settings which will say that our user model now is account our account uh, application and our ac account class account model which is basically this model and by doing this uh, we will customize our uh, user model in next video, I will explain and, and I will show uh, in, in, in form of tutorial how we can uh, add user registration, how we can make it work. Uh, but for now, uh, I want to share just this uh, configuration. Uh, so you can go to our uh, GitHub repository and check it by yourself. Uh, and for now, you can actually run it and check admin website and etc. And in our next tutorial, in our next video, I will give more information on our own user model. Uh, and shortly about uh, how uh, we can uh, contribute or you can contribute to this repository, to this project. So basically, um, with DevHub, uh, as you maybe know, uh, we also have our uh, Python mentorship program. 
it will be also part of mentorship program but it's not uh, restricted to only python mentorship uh, members so anyone uh, from our uh, community can contribute and be part of the dev hub project uh, so for this you just need to yeah for this repository if you have something really important something really uh, valuable you can add your feature and send me pull requests i will review it uh, but also i will uh, keep some kind of uh, assignments i will add some kind of assignments uh, and for example let's say we have user model and i can say that uh, yeah i need some additional field on, on our user model so you can make a pull request and do it and practice uh, also and also except this you, we will have small assignments which will be independent of uh, dev hub uh, and will be part of our uh, Py python mentorship program if you don't have information about our python mentorship program you please check this repository i will keep put all links in description so you can read about it and you can follow all the step of steps of python mentorship program uh, so and, and as a part of this uh, dev hub project will have small independent uh, tasks for you guys so you can follow uh, yeah, all this uh, technical stuff and do some practice uh, for now as a first introduction video to devfab that's it uh, in our next tutorials next videos we will start implementing all these features and also we will have yeah, this kind of um, stuff or this kind of tools and we will use them in, in our dev hub repository dev hub project and final goal for this uh project uh so first of all of course to make a, a sample project using python and django and second uh i want to make it uh, really public public so when we will have first release uh, we can uh, deploy it to to uh, some uh, uh, web server so we can use it uh, as an actual website so yeah it will be our final project uh that's it for this video please make sure that you are subscribed and you have uh, this uh, notification enabled so you will not miss our next video and thank you for watching and see you in our next video Bye.